Hi, my name is Mark D. Kopoulos, and I'm a Philadelphia criminal defense and real estate attorney. This is my criminal law blog. And a couple uh, months ago, I, I made a post about why the defender shouldn't handle your case. And I took some heat for it. I actually had the public defender contact me and ask me to take it down. And I refused to do that because I have a right to freedom of speech. And I thought that some of the things that I said um, on that blog were, were pertinent and on point. Um, and today I would like to follow it up um, with a second edition to why the public defender should never handle your case. Now, I would preface this by saying the public defender in Philadelphia is fantastic. Um, they are a great organization. The people who work there are very competent. They're very intelligent. Oftentimes, the people who go to work for the public defender have gone to Ivy League law schools, or I Ivy League schools. They hire from Penn. They hire from uh, Cornell. I know public defenders who went to Temple, Villanova, a lot of the best schools, and they're very, very smart, and they're very, very competent, and they generally do a good job. So if that's the case, why should you never allow the public defender to handle your case? Here's why. The reason you should never allow a public defender to handle your case is because criminal charges are personal, and it, it's personal. Your freedom is at stake. Not only is your freedom at stake, but if, you're, if, if, you, if you have things going on in your life, everything is at stake. Your reputation is at stake. Your, your lifestyle is at stake. Your ability to get employment is in the future is at stake. Everything is at stake. And when everything is at stake, it's personal. And that comes back to why you would want a private lawyer to handle your case. Even if the defender, the public defender, can do a great job, you want somebody who's personally invested in your specific case because it's so personal. And that's why you hire a private attorney to handle your case. I mean, just think about it. You can go to the defender. You call the defender. And this is not necessarily just Philadelphia. But if you, call, if you have a public defender, you're not going to be able to call that individual, it's an organization, and get an answer at any time of day, 24 hours a day, you're not going to be able to pick up the phone and call and say, what's going on with my case? Now, maybe they may be responsive, but you may not have that same level of responsiveness if you hire an attorney who's committed directly to you. Another major difference between defenders and private lawyers is that if you go with the defender, you're going to have a bunch of a triage of different lawyers kind of coming in and working on your case, especially if it's a big case. If it's not a big case, that may not be true. But if it's a big case, you're probably going to have one attorney handle the preliminary hearing. Another attorney is going to come visit you. Another attorney is going to, uh, you know, handle your pretrial conference. Another attorney is going to handle your trial. And they're just going to take your file and they're going to pass it down the line. Whereas if you hire a private attorney, you, it's one horse the whole race. You're with that one lawyer from start to finish and you can develop a rapport with that lawyer. You can develop communication with that lawyer. You can develop sometimes a, a bond with that lawyer. And if the lawyer knows what he's doing and he can help you, then that's an invaluable, especially if everything is at stake, which is the case so many times that you're facing criminal charges. And finally, I would say the last reason why you should absolutely hire a private criminal attorney to handle your case, even if the public defender is very competent, is, be, is reputation and incentive. And just think about this. And again, this is not to say that the defender doesn't care. I think they do a lot. And a lot of them are very good, smart people. But think about it. You hire a private lawyer. That lawyer's reputation is everything. If that lawyer takes your money and doesn't win, then you're probably going to leave a negative review. You're going to tell people he's no good, and he's going to go out of business. That's how the free market works. And so that lawyer that you hire has a tremendous incentive to win your case. Because if he wins your case, you're going to go back to your friends, your family, and everybody you know and say, my lawyer beat this case for me. My lawyer won this case. He's a great lawyer. Call him. And that lawyer is then going to make more money. 
and he's going to be more successful instead of going out of business. And so the free market is another incentive for why you would want a private attorney to handle your case. Because that lawyer is going to have a little more motivation, is going to have a little more passion and fire when he gets into that courtroom because he knows that whether or not his phone rings in the future may depend on this case. And so even if you can go with a defender's office that is extremely competent, that knows what it's doing, that cares, and that say they even answer their phone, it's better to get a private lawyer. And it's better to get a private lawyer because criminal charges are personal. And you want to pick up that phone and talk to one individual, the same individual, every single time. And you want that person you hire to be personally invested. You want that person that you hire to feel like he has to win that case. And that's why hiring a lawyer is about creating a relationship, creating a bond with somebody who can help you. And that's why you hire a private criminal defense attorney to handle your case. My name is Mark D. Coppolis. I'm a Philadelphia criminal defense and real estate attorney in Philadelphia. If you have a legal problem, please don't hesitate to contact my office. I can be reached at 267-535-9776. Thank you.